Welcome once again, race fans. All right, today we are going to talk about track cleaning. Now, lots of times with brand new track, you get it out of the box. Um, there are more times than not, there's oxidation on the rail, um, even even from the factory, because it could take six or eight months for the product to get through the supply chain, and it goes you know across the ocean. It's in warehouses. Um, then once you get it, you run it, you play with it, you put it back in the closet, you come back next year. And the common complaint is, I put it all together, put my cars down, and they don't run. So what we found is, get something like a fine drywall sponge. This is a 320 3M. And looking at this piece of track right here, the rails aren't real bright. So we can just sit there and just go back and forth a couple of times. Doesn't take much per track. Now it's nice and shiny. Wipe it off with the magic cloth and go to the next one. And if you do this with your track every time you set it up, even though the rails may look somewhat shiny, it doesn't take many passes with this sponge to really get them to where they're bright and shiny again. And, and this particular sponge doesn't seem to affect the finish of the track. Um, doesn't scratch it or anything else. That's the beauty about this. Don't use sandpaper. Absolutely do not use steel wool. You'll be sorry you did because if you use steel wool even after you vacuum it, there's micro amounts of it that, that get down in the track and stay down in the track and then you run your car over with all the magnets and the bottom of the car looks like a fuzzy gorilla. Um, so that's, that's definitely not a good situation. But as you can see, it doesn't take many minutes prior to setup to buff out the rails and then once you get everything all put together um, this shouldn't be a problem then if the car doesn't run well maybe because of the pickups are dirty or some other issue um, and that's about it um, if you leave it down on the floor for a couple of days while you're playing with it it doesn't hurt to take a vacuum and run over it uh, and even while it's on the floor if you put it on a table um, even with it's all assembled you can still run around the track every now and then with something like this and buff them up. Alright, that's the tip for today.